I uh, quick quick substitute teaching story. Mm. So the okay. general my general rule is only one person can go to the bathroom at a time or to their locker or to get water or any random number of things. And, um, you know, kids today, just they're just not really good liars. And I, mm-hmm. I don't know who to blame. And maybe it's television. The parents. Society. Society. It's the parents. The parents. Yeah. Parents. yeah. But you got to blame the parents on this one here. Uh, so two girls come up to me and they're like, can we we need to go to the bathroom. It's only one person at a time please can we just please like no i I mean obviously you're planning something yeah this isn't like you know what do you mean planning something i don't know but it's like who who needs a buddy for the bathroom unless they're not planning something and i'm Mm -hmm. a sub there is no lesson plan they can talk Mm -hmm. all they want it's not like they have to go to the bathroom in order to like have a conversation Mm -hmm. but don't women go to the bathroom in pairs all the time Wow. Wow. Uh, 1950s, Danny. Yeah, they do. Because they're talking <laughs> what they're going to cook in the chicken. <laughs> kitchen. How do you make your husband happy? I have no idea. That's such a. <laughs> yeah. <clears throat> uh, uh, yeah. You're not going to believe this, but I am a single man. It's <laughs> <laughs> so close to the microphone. You won't believe this. You're not going to believe it. <laughs> This is funny. So, did uh, you bust them, or they, or is there? Well, I, I let one go to the bathroom, and then about ninety seconds later, the other girl comes up with a sweatshirt on, hood pulled up, looking down. Gonna go to the bathroom, <laughs> like, <laughs> like a disguise. Yes. No. <laughs> yes. Wow. And I'm like, oh, and I didn't. I should have. I, I, I was torn. Do I bust her that I rec- clearly recognize her the same? the same girl or do i just be like oh sorry only one at a time you know wow. what were they up to what do you think was going on probably talking about boys mm-hmm. they wanted mm. to keep it yeah mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. women make me in the bathroom i have a secret no <laughs> <laughs> i'm not gonna do that yeah yeah mm. <laughs> it's like what's your secret hold on let me get in the stall <laughs> What's you your secret? Me. What the hell? One second. Going? One second. Like, I love pants, to pants go down. Me. It's like <laughs> scribbling out a piece of paper. I just want someone to watch me go to the bathroom. Come on! Oh, you, oh, that's my it. secret. That's a horrible <laughs> secret. I thought you were telling me a crush you had. No, 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 no. I just, <laughs> God, this is ew. Gross. Speaking of watching people go to the bathroom, there was <laughs> oh, oh no. What? <laughs> Segway. What kind of sub are you? The Chicago Reader. That you really guys remember that? That was kind of like a weekly arts and entertainment, mm-hmm. independent art, arts and entertainment uh, paper, uh, and, and local events, local affairs, mm-hmm. uh, independent journalism. But they had they ran the Dan Savage category, category mm-hmm. Dan Savage column, syndicated column about you know, love advice and whatnot. Mm-hmm. Savage love, right? It, yeah, it usually tacked very. Um, uh, Dangerous, perverse, uh, uh, non-traditional. <laughs> Tell us more, 1950s Bill. <laughs> Everything but missionary was kind of there. <laughs> like, perverse. Know, one of the one of the things was about people who enjoy watching other people use the bathroom mm-hmm. and are trying mm-hmm. to acquire movies and videos of other people. And, and there's like, well, you know, the state laws are, are differ quite a bit across the country. And in some states, it is illegal to to urinate or defecate on another person, consenting or not. You're breaking the law. However, you can demonstrate how you pee for someone else, and that's legal. Hmm. May, may I show you how I pee? Which I thought was hilarious. That is pretty funny. It's like, while state laws may vary, we can all agree... You nasty. Yeah. <laughs> Legally. Well, like within the bounds of the legal system, you are yeah. fine. Ew. <laughs> Ew. <laughs> no. uh, I'll allow it. Uh, I'm going to throw up the Latin translator here. Uh, mm-hmm. and those, what, what, is you na- what is you nasty in Latin? What is the What's legal? <laughs> mm-hmm. If Socrates were telling this to someone, was he Latin? Yeah. Greek? Whatever. Who cares? Yeah. <laughs> Let's see what we got here. Yeah, the computer's not taking it. It's not. Mm. 
It's not taking my. You are nasty in Latin. Mm. You are. Mm. <laughs> Dios e nastios. Oh, oh yeah. <clears throat> huh, that makes sense. That makes more yeah. sense. Yeah, you you are the one who is nasty versus <laughs> you are yeah. You are it, nasty. It, mm. you, or, or nasty just has never changed throughout history. Mm-hmm. It's, it's always like, just yeah. been nasty. Just, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of another day, another dollar, I have a quick, this isn't so much of a thing as a sort of an observation. It almost feels stand-up observational, but I'll go ahead and throw it out there. So sure. I go to Dollar Tree sometime because they have lots of toy the kids Mm -hmm. will go through toys and or i'm making more um, post-apocalyptic hot wheels sculptures whatever doesn't matter why i'm there the point is so i go to dollar tree yesterday every yesterday and they had been closed down for remodeling oh what what they do so what they did was they put in like they have at target price scanners around the store it's a dollar Mm. store so my observation i was like wait (laughs) I mean, like, beep, it's a dollar. I could save you guys a ton of money. But that just was a very funny uh, thing they would do. It's like, right, right. It's like, everything's 99 cents. Boop. I just told you it was 99 cents. I like the idea of someone in the back with a microphone. And when someone stands, scan, they just go, beep, it's a dollar. It's like. That's right. All right, just sit back here. You watch these cameras. Uh, they get, you get 12 bucks an hour. Someone comes up and scans it. You just. Let me hear you what your scanner sounds like. Boop. Higher. Boop. Yes. That's Perfect. good. Perfect. And then Perfect. um whatever. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. That's good stuff, guys. Uh, I got this is a cart full of stuff. Boop. It's a dollar. Boop. Mm-hmm. The dollar. That's ma'am, a- ma'am, it's all a dollar. <laughs> uh, your scanner is broken. I can't help you, ma'am. I can't help you. I don't know <laughs> what that is. Can't, can't tell you. <laughs> well, I got Anyways. the trans I got the translator to work. Let's get it. Okay. Two, two malice. You, two malice. You nasty in Latin. Oh, malice. Mm. Malice. M A L U S. Mm. Oh, okay. Not M A L I C E. Do malice. And again, there might be a different malice. word. Mm. If the, mm. Any of our fans out there are speak Latin, <clears throat> that would be nice. I'd like to hear you nasty in almost any language. <laughs> what do we do like the. What is it? <laughs> <laughs> Random language uh, generator mm-hmm. here. Mm hmm. <clears throat> Oh well, the, I I randomly hit something and it was Persian, but it came back in 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 script like ah, oh, right, I can't right, I can't read Sanskrit anymore. Hey, can you can you hit the the speaker or whatever that says it? They didn't have one. Oh, uh oh, Persian people Uh-oh. out there, you you have a job available at Google. Mm. Ooh, tu es machin. It's French. Ooh, tu es machin. Mm. Tu es machin. <clears throat> We should put you nasty in a bunch of languages on a t-shirt. Just like a line of, you know, just all the way down. Tu tu come on. And then you nasty. <laughs> Wear this anywhere in the world and let someone know you nasty. And I, I want I want the improper grammar to, to come across as well. Yeah. And not just be, you are one who is nasty. Right. It's rather be, you be, nasty. You so nasty. Gotta, mm-hmm. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> one day. One day, guys, we can do this. Yeah, there we go. But getting right back to that whole thing, I wanted it in Latin so you could, in, in a court of law, you know, habeas corpus, you know, tu malus, you know, like, sorry. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I uh, filled out a writ of tu malus, and you are banned from the court. Because you nasty. <laughs> because you're nasty. Could you read the stenographer? Can you read this back? Uh, yes, sir. <laughs> you nasty. <laughs> <laughs> Yep. Or, or the stenographer just kind of gets just the general gist of things, blah, 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 murder weapon, blah, blah, blah. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa. we really need to have the exact <laughs> thing. For the, oh, oh, really? In some you guys, guys, can you guys go back? No, mm. we can't go back. We have to do this. Okay. Okay. Into the court yeah. of law. Blah, 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 blah. Then this guy said, yeah, me, me, me. This guy, yeah, 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 yeah. I don't appreciate, I don't sound like that. I don't, that's not do not yeah. sound like that. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So court stenographer on their last day of work. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I decided That's... I'd quit a month ago and this is my last day of work. <laughs> yeah. And maybe I missed a few words here and there. Here and there. Mm-hmm. And in closing, you can suck it. I quit. Wait, that's your line. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Court adjourned. Yeah. Yes. Court adjourned, Your Honor. <laughs> <laughs> 
This would explain all those mistrials. All the... Oh, no one had the right stuff. Have you ever had that too fresh feeling? It's the Maximum Party Zone. Well, I wanted to start kick things off with an apology. Mm. Okay. Okay. And uh apologize. I just listening to some of the past podcasts, uh I've noticed I'm just not a good laugher. I my voice is or my laugh is kind of deep and and grunty, like <laughs> Is what, when people make fun of me, that's usually Dan, Danny laughing. Is oh, 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 oh. Apparently, that's that's how I laugh. But uh, it because of that, it doesn't come across well. Okay. Uh, on over the podcast, so many times I am laughing at your jokes, but okay. it doesn't. It, it it may sound so. So for the people listening, uh, I am laughing at their jokes. It's wow. uh, Have you guys heard that yeah. NPC listening party? It's just this one guy who just like doesn't laugh at anything. Just refuses to laugh at all. The other guys are mildly humorous, but he's not laughing at them at all. <laughs> I mean, I get it. I mean, it's not, you know, hit you rates know, low. Actually, yeah. <laughs> I mostly grin too. So maybe he's just grinning. <laughs> you have to watch the podcast. I don't want to watch the podcast. It defeats the purpose. Yeah. You can hear him nodding in approval. He, and you say like <laughs> you're like you're, you're not a, bemused. You sort of yeah. going on. You have to voice it. Hmm. Okay. Hmm. I acknowledge. Yeah. I acknowledge. I understand what you're trying to do. We received. Need a, received. Yeah. We need a, a grin tone. <laughs> if you hear that, <laughs> someone is politely nodding and grinning. <laughs> Without the visual components, <laughs> you know. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Real let's, quiet. Not do that. Let's, let's not do that to each other. Let's not... <laughs> you get very old very fast. I am politely nodding and grinning. Mm-hmm. Thanks, AI. Trust me. Mm-hmm. I'm having the time of my life. Huh. I'll sound that again. I had a buddy I... in college. You knew him, Danny. Uh, Scott. We'll leave it there. But he had a very different honest laugh from his appeasement laugh. Hmm. And it was just, uh, and after a while, you got to fit. Wait a minute, you have a, a <laughs> honest belly laugh, and then a kind of like stifled snake hiss for your. <laughs> I acknowledge that you said something funny, and I <laughs> encourage you to continue saying things. However, what you said was not particularly hilarious. Hmm. He needs to go to some. St- school or something where they can teach him to match match up those two laughs you gotta match up those laughs or otherwise people will figure it out yeah (laughs) yeah yeah i i had a a follow-up uh here and it's basically a follow-up to it's uh we've been we've been talking about it for for a while now uh back to haiti again Mm. and uh uh this is a more barbecue Oh man, these guys all and, over the uh, news. Yeah, uh, last week or a week ago, there was an interview with uh, the innocent guy. Uh, now, now there's another interview with Barbecue. So the innocent uh, guy, to remind us, is the other political freedom fighter whose father was killed in battle of some yes, kind. Yeah, slain, slain, slain on the slain. field of battle. That's right. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> uh, and and so this this guy. Oh no no that that's that was in um, different country. That, that was not Haiti. That was a different country. Ch- mm-hmm. Chad it was in Chad. Right right right. Uh, okay, um, okay. Okay. Yeah and uh, but but that no innocent was uh, another of the. But innocent is not in Haiti. No, he isn't in Haiti. Wait a minute. Okay. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I, we're confusing it. The innocent is Haiti, and then slain on the battlefield is oh, okay. is, is a different a different guy. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. All right. 
my apology yeah. for next week already queued up. <laughs> <laughs> These countries do not yeah. all look like. <laughs> uh, so in the interview, they basically, I, I guess he was a cop before he was a gang leader. And, uh, you know, despite of all his allegations and all of that, he's kind of become a uniter. And as they're fighting against the uh, what they call puppet government or, or something like that, mm-hmm. uh, he's unite. He's kept the gangs from all fighting each other and sort of coming together. So from all these things, it's not. He's now almost becoming like, yeah, like someone who's bridging, okay. bridging the accords here and okay. kind of, you know, uh, I'm not saying a uh, Nobel Peace Prize, but. Uh, I'd uh, lo- love to put a, put that <laughs> sticker on barbecue. Yeah. <laughs> as long as it's not... Uh... Eight herbs and spices and a Nobel Prize. Whoa! Whoa. This is delicious. <laughs> Sauces. Hmm. What can this man do? Yeah. Oh, my God. <laughs> like that. No more fighting over our condiments. Mm-hmm. <laughs> mm-hmm. <laughs> but yeah, that, that's, that, that's it for the update. It's I mean, that's, I mean, not more. to not be funny, but Mm-hmm. It's good news that you have political. You need political leadership if you're going to have political solutions. You know, yes. Mm-hmm. He's an yeah, imp- imperfect savior. That's what you have there. This guy is Ooh. like he's not great, but he's getting us together. Mm. Is this a movie pitch? A biopic? Mm. <clears throat> imperfect, the savior. imperfect savior. Mm-hmm. Mm. Like, <clears throat> oh, it could be. Could be what else <laughs> I'm available. Okay, yeah. Keanu Reeves. What do we? What do we, yeah. who, who is our imperfect savior? Mm. <clears throat> and is he oh, to, to to play barbecue? Well, just I think just I think just taking that. Uh don't 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 give it to a white actor, Bill. No, okay. I would no. I didn't. I was just thinking mm. of a just. The, I like the phrase "imperfect savior." Yeah, mm. no, that that's why. Mm-hmm. It's a good, good barbecue. Good He's doing a yes. He's doing yeah. doing yeah. the Lord's work. Yes, I guess. Have 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 you 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 seen 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 seen? Well, have you seen seen seen? I and hey, there was an announcement on on Deadline about uh in the Lord of the Rings world, they're gonna do some. Uh, they called it The Hunt for Gollum. I don't know if that's exactly the name of the movie or uh, maybe it was just the article, but they have no story information whatsoever. I mean, obviously, it's going to happen <laughs> before he, <laughs> spoiler alert, dies in the in the last mm-hmm. in the mm-hmm. Return of the King. And uh, allegedly, I guess, mm-hmm. allegedly. Uh, yeah, could- that's true. He could have. He's immune like, to lava. I don't know. I, maybe, maybe. I, but, we're we're but, getting into the script. Get, I don't know. Figure, figure it out. Maybe, maybe, maybe he's immune to lava yeah. somehow. Just you figure it out. You're, you're yeah. the writer. Just, what, yeah. what, what's, what's kind of funny is that I, what, one of the parts about it is Gollum was, was portrayed voice and uh, motion capture wise by Andy Serkis. And he's been a part of a ton of these movies as well as various other projects. And he's going to be the director on this project. I didn't realize he was the oh. second unit director on the uh, the Hobbit trilogy. Okay, I don't know if it was just the first Hobbit or all those movies. So he got a ton of experience, and so now they're giving it the keys to him. So he's going to direct and and star in it. Wow. And that uh, and I, I I was reading a tidbit about the the, the writers. One of them says they have haven't seen I think the Amazon series or something like that. Uh, which 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 I enjoyed. I, I I like what what they they were pulling from the books and or that that's implied from the books. But he said he's not even he didn't even look at it because he didn't want to be influenced, which is kind of weird because like no, it's not. It's it's the world of Tolkien. That's what yeah. mm-hmm. we're all. It it should be, it should be influenced. Well, I'm just right. smelling a lot of dramatic golem moments and a lot of Shakespearean. Soliloquies. If the director and actor mm. is gets to, you know, <clears throat> yes, he's a lot of, go- a yeah, lot of like, golem in there. It's yeah. like, yeah, it's like, can we, can we have him have another monologue about something about something else besides the ring? 
no. No. <laughs> so, yeah, 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 yeah. How about I this like, notion of a, of a shallow puddle? It's, it's still reflective, even though it's not very deep. I, you know, I'll throw something together. Just get the camera rolling. Uh, I'll get the motion capture suit on. So we stand in there in this suit covered in <laughs> covered in ping pong balls, be it all Shakespearean. <laughs> like big four hundred million dollars. We need a script. We have spent so much money. I'm just gonna riff. I'm gonna riff. You can't riff. Uh, I don't want you riffing. Yeah, it's my strength. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm gonna get it. Yeah. What's what kind of animal? What animal am I? Yeah. <laughs> Stop being really so challenging. This is during Gollum's possum phase. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, hmm? you know that's funny i was thinking about like peter jackson has sort of mm-hmm. gone like down this beatles rabbit hole with the let it be in the documentary and i remember thinking reading somewhere that long time ago when they were going to do a hobbit movie in the 60s that the beatles were in line to play frodo like the four <laughs> friends wow. i was like so peter jackson could just do that now with all the technology and with everything oh wow with the beatles <laughs> Um, you know, over to Mordor, little no goes along with the Peter, ring. <laughs> actual Paul Paul McCartney. He might do it. He's more Gollum like now than than ever, right? <laughs> hey, fellows, you want to, you know, do yeah. it? Yeah. His Ringo's wow. probably. Yeah. I don't know Samwise or is George Fellowship, Samwise Fellowship yeah. of the Ringo. What do you guys want with me? <laughs> Just him. <laughs> yeah. yeah, Ringo, we're gonna leave you here at the uh, elf elf place. You just, you know, keep, keep I will everything be safe the last here. One standing, <laughs> fellas. How was the trip to the mountain? It's okay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A lot of people died. Oh no! <laughs> I wrote a song about it. <laughs> That's okay. We're cool, Ringo. Yeah. We're cool. No, no. I... I'm sure you did. I'm sure you did. I'm sure. Yeah, it's I mean, well, J- Jimmy Page is like, I also wrote some songs. I like his better about <laughs> all the Lord of the Rings stuff. He's really, man. He's so actually heavy. into it. Yeah. <laughs> Way into it. Too into it. So what, and also the search for Gollum almost sounds like it's a reality show to find mm-hmm. the mm-hmm. next Gollum. <laughs> <laughs> like a bachelorette kind of thing. <laughs> what well, they, they, they were talking ring? it's like bachelor number one uh, describe the perfect date well i don't know as long as i can stare into your eyes I and mean, that's pretty perfect <laughs> bachelor number two what's your perfect date uh i like to keep things basic dinner in a movie maybe walk on the beach bachelor number three yeah <laughs> I found him. <laughs> Precious. <laughs> and for my ring, I like, oh, tell me more. Yeah. That's pretty much it. <laughs> but you'll be your place. Uh... Yeah. A long walk to the volcanic mountain. Uh, maybe a nice ride on an eagle. Okay. That's Eat some nice. raw fish. <laughs> <laughs> I'm intrigued. Uh, that's what number three. Please, you brush your teeth. That's your number three. If I said I was into cave exploring, whoa, I'm listening. <laughs> Go on. <laughs> He's destroyed the set. <laughs> <laughs> Do you mean that literally or figuratively? As a, you know. Oh, I just kind of meant it as just like a, a sex thing. Oh, oh, oh. No, right. nah. yeah, it's a hard, hard pass. Okay. <laughs> you don't have to be so direct about it. Fine. Yeah. Yeah. The the article was also saying that. They're, they're considering trying to bring in some of the other people who played other parts. Uh, so that's in talks. Like, I guess it's up in air. It's just very general because, again, they haven't defined when exactly the movie takes place because he's lived per the movie and uh, and, and the books. I, but my, much like Isaac Asimov, I, I, I read those books so long ago. All I have is, is the memory movies. of the movies yeah. yeah yeah they should really make a movie or a book out of those lord of the rings yeah movies. yeah yeah mm-hmm. um but the yeah he lived an unnaturally long life so mm-hmm. 
you know, perverted what? by the ring's magic. <laughs> he lived an unnaturally long life. Yeah. Obscenely long life. Yes. What's going on right now? <laughs> yeah. And you will be having hot dogs at Pink's on Sunset Boulevard. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, what? Oh man, it's great. <laughs> ah, we're back. All right. Ah. Well, uh <clears throat> Okay, are so are we leaving sound for okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm I'm leaving space. Ah, I mean, just grab a drink. If we're if we're gonna leave some holes for the what's on your cup? All right, well, I'll, I'll do the that, same. No. Mm. Is that what's the theme on that cup? Uh, ooh. This is my oh wow! Good my... lord, how old is that cup? <laughs> <laughs> Mickey Rourke has whiplash. An Iron Man, what the? Hell? An Iron Man two Slurpee cup. Uh, <laughs> <Hopefully but it's, laughs> it's hard to get really big cups these days. That's for sure. And, Especially, yeah. Ever since the Democrats got in office, these cups thank have you. got smaller and smaller. <laughs> mm-hmm. so mm. take, that is a very very funny thing to have, like a. Yes, that's great. I, I can get a whole. I can, I can fill it with ice and get a whole can of soda in there. Or, you know, nice. fizzy water. So it's like, oh well, that's that's perfect. That's good. And reminded of Mickey Rourke, every sip you take. <laughs> but he was so good in the wrestler. He was so good. How was he? I mean, too. The wrestler was awesome. <laughs> so <laughs> Let good. Let me tell you, he got in a great shape. Mm. Didn't he have some run-ins with police and or? Drugs and the wrestler was a masterpiece. <laughs> I don't know how he wasn't. Did he get an Oscar for that? He should have. He should have if he didn't. Marissa Tomei was great. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Didn't movie. he get in trouble for that? the wrestler? Was great. Listen, I won't mm. hear anything against the wrestler. I'm not talking about the wrestler. I'm talking about making that movie is. Diamond mm. perfection. I don't yeah, know the, what the name Mickey Work means nothing to me. All I know mm. is the wrestler whose character name I cannot recall because it was I was too in awe to even <laughs> process the dialogue. Okay. Danny, you had a pitch. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I, I do have a pitch, but a quick could, couldn't get more bits back, out of my jumbo back, uh, back, back to make, plastic cup. <laughs> back to Mickey <laughs> Work. Uh, his, uh, <laughs> his nine and a half weeks. Uh, movie, uh, be, be, because there's you know it's there's always like that that sexy music that plays in those sorts of mm-hmm. soft core uh, romantic movies. Mm-hmm. Uh, I I remember I got the cassette. It was that 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 long ago of nine and a half weeks just for the first track. That was like that <laughs> sexy saxophone. <laughs> thing. Oh man. That, the rest of it sucked, but I just wanted that that first track of the. One of these days, I'm gonna have a lady over. The moment will be right. I'll put this on. Just wait one second. Let me. You gotta rewind it here. My... Hold on, hold on, hold on. Get a pencil. Hold on. Get the yeah. tape back in here. Yeah, the me... no, it's only three hold and a half on, minutes, on. so we gotta be fast. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it it actually. Yeah, that was a mate. Like I thought, like surely, it, you know, saxophone instrumental. It'll be like ten minutes or something. I can't remember if I was going to use it or for something or what. Uh, but it was like a three minute long, mm-hmm. sexy saxophone, mm-hmm. whatever song. A- anyways, uh, <laughs> back back to my my pitch here. Uh, it's for a TV show. It's called Rap Mythbusters. It's taken from the Mythbusters show. Okay, and basically, it's just taking lines from rap and then basically busting those myths because there's a lot of things, uh, okay. braggadocio uh, metaphors that are used, but we're gonna take them all at their word, mm-hmm. and each week like that, they'll take the lyrics and try to like, uh, as I put it, taking rap lines and testing their accuracy with scientific rigor. And so I have <laughs> three, three so, examples here. Yes. Okay. Oh, right. You have some examples. Okay. I had. I have some uh, s- some uh, coming to mind, but I would love to hear your. Examples. Okay. I, I'll I'll explain these, and then we can sure. go, go go to those. So one of them uh, is is uh, a, an older song, uh, Jay Z, Big Pimpin. Mm-hmm. And he has a a line that I really like. That uh, on the canopy, my stamina be enough for Pamela Anderson Lee. And so uh, the way the show would attack this is 
one they they would get jay-z into the building uh they would take test his biometrics like standing and normal mm -hmm. then they would test it like him on a canopy and then they would also get pamela anderson lee into the building and mm -hmm. hook her up with a bunch of things and then test her stamina and then at the end like determine like yes his stamina on a canopy is actually enough for pamela anderson lee okay I, I, what kind of are we talking a canopy like uh, a building in new york that has like a little awning out front that's, that's something that would be uh decided during the course of the show they would probably okay. argue like you know what kind of canopy like you know have maybe not the same same guys mm -hmm. uh from or it could be the same guys from i was wondering I was the same guys doing their you know, yeah yeah Adam, with that, the mustache yeah, and, uh, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah 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 like what kind of canopy uh okay so the next and let's get the two uh, of them the two of them on the canopy simulating mm -hmm. love making to see if it can support the weight exactly they, they would test their own like oh my yeah my stamina is much improved on a canopy like i never realized it <laughs> so i i have two two more examples they're both from a guy that is very much in in the news in the world of rap that's kendrick lamar mm, okay. and i've got two lyrics here uh one is from his song dna a uh, very catchy song uh it's i got power poison pain and joy inside my dna I got hustle though, ambition flow inside my DNA. So uh, first we'd, you know, with a power poison, pain and joy, we test this power in the gym with deadlift squats, bench mm -hmm, press. Mm -hmm. uh, we take blood tests to find poison. Uh, we do an analysis of his nervous system for the pain. And then we check his dopamine levels for, okay. for the joy. Real fast, if it, if it turns out that it is not possible, the myth has been busted, does the song uh -huh. get pulled from the radio? You big fat that liar. I, you big fat liar. I, how it's, how it's dare very you? Possible. How dare you? It's very possible. Maybe that's how we raise the stakes on the show. <clears throat> we let, uh, you know, the, the artists behind these songs know, like, hey, it's <clears throat> possible. You know, are you willing to submit your song for this, this tough test? Uh, so, so after that, part two of that is uh, the Inside My DNA. So we're going to have... The National Institute of Health map out Kendrick's DNA mm -hmm, to mm -hmm. see if he can sequence his levels of power, poison, pain, and joy. Okay. Uh, we're we're mm -hmm. also going to have a psychiatrist analyze Kendrick's level of hustle and how it relates to his ambition. And then, uh, you know, I got hustle, though, ambition, flow. So for the last one, they'll have uh... a gynecologist check his flow. And that would be... <laughs> that may not be come that. back. There, there may be some problems there. I, there, there, there might be that. That's that's part of it all. So if well, I, I, okay. I like the idea of taking once if they can isolate uh -huh. the DNA for all those things, put it in different mice. Oh, and you've got the 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 pain and poison mouse, you know. Yeah, and then they are a team that you know helps people out. A team solves style. crimes. Yeah. Solves, solves crimes. crimes. Um, yeah. Yeah, yeah, you can isolate that. DNA. It becomes a very different show. <laughs> yeah, about midway through the was... season. When did the mice start becoming detectives? I have no yeah, idea. I, I don't I'm know. not sure what happened. I had, here I we are. It was a show about Rappler. It's, it's, one it's, mouse is in constant pain. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> Just boy, boy, boy. <laughs> Shut up. Rolling around. Awful. God, oh, my God. He's so loud. He gets on that wheel. He just lays there. <laughs> I don't want to run. He doesn't want to even run. He's got no hustle. No, that's the hustle I, mouse over there. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I'm doing everything. I'm doing everything. <laughs> so, so uh, then, then the final. Let's not, let's not talk about flow mouse. <laughs> yeah, that, that's he's. It's a mess. It's, oh boy. Yeah. I, so, so the, the final uh, example here is again Kendrick Lamar. This one went with humble, another of his uh, biggest hits, mm -hmm. and his. Uh, he said, "My left stroke just went viral." Right stroke put little baby in a spiral. Soprano C, we like to keep it on the high note. It's levels to it, you and I and I know. So for the first part, we're gonna have an immunologist and a neurologist work to see if his stroke originates from a virus, see if it has viral origins. When you say stroke, what are we? I think I need a clarification. Uh well, I, I mean it probably means something else, but for the purpose of it, that that may not be allowed, you know, if it's on, you know, whatever channel uh, discovery it, it or a, something. A swimming stroke or a lack of blood to the brain or it it may be a sexual thing, but uh, for okay. the, the purposes okay. of this, 
Okay. Uh, show. We're mm-hmm. just gonna take take it quite just uh, the main one. So the next one, next lyric is right stroke. Put little baby in a spiral. Uh, we'll have a neurologist and a pediatrician test Kendrick to see if his stroke can affect infants in some That's way. That's gonna cross many ethical barriers. I'm gonna say that right now. I don't uh, imagine. That, yeah. That, uh, again, like that. That that during the discussion of this. Maybe there's a lawyer. Maybe there's an ethicist there who's like, "Yeah, we can't. We can't actually do this test, test. on a baby." Yeah, and they're like, yeah. "Okay, okay, fine. Well, we'll just um, fine." All right, I, I guess we, we'll never know. Well, I want to know if Sir Mixalot Anaconda really doesn't want a lady without buns, mm-hmm. and we'll get several anacondas. Well, not, well, you, not, you have... not feed them for a few days. What well, well, you need they... it. Now, now he specifically <laughs> says my anaconda. So you'll take a control group of anacondas from the wild, <laughs> and you'll take the the, yeah. the group of anacondas that Sir Mixelot owns, mm-hmm. and then sure. you'll have. Okay, yeah. You know, science. We're gonna do this science. Yeah, yeah We're gonna exactly. Do science. Hello, cool, Jay. You're, you claim to say your mother said to knock them out. We have your mom, Andrea Griffith, here on the line. I, I never said such a thing. I have like, always ah. told him, like, okay, cool, busted. James. Myth Sorry, busted. myth busted. <laughs> going to take his song away. He's like, I need those royalties. Too bad. Yeah, yeah, you know, maybe he just, they just have to alter the lyrics. Mm-hmm. They're, they're no longer allowed to. Mama said, uh, shake uh, your hand. I'm yeah. going to shake Mama's your hand. <laughs> <That's>, <laughs> I hate this song so much. <laughs> We're That's the end friends. result. Mama yeah. said we're going to be friends. Like, mm. <laughs> Yeah. Mama said, show you out. I'm going to show you out this way, sir. Right this way. All right. Make your way right. to the door. Hey, let me get that door. <laughs> Don't forget your coat. <laughs> a little chilly outside. You're going to need your coat. Stop uh, talking right. that cadence. I wish I could stop, but I can't. You know, it's like this. You know, those things where they take movies and they will edit them, take out any sort of like, to like a two hour movie and they like, oh, yeah. Through like a church program some kind of thing and they'll make them they'll take any kind of questionable stuff out and then the movie is like 17 minutes long yes, so yes. It's like being like this so it's that kind of like softening up these yeah these guys like, do you mind you have to be so coarse could you change the lyrics well i know they did when they put the breakfast club on network television they had to change all the all the swear words mm-hmm. it's oh mm-hmm. f- flip you claire yeah oh mother father oh. <laughs> it's yeah. like huh what do you think well, he said? Doesn't really have the impact. And it doesn't quite no. wasn't how the nature intended it. John Hughes would have wanted them to say bad words. <laughs> I don't know. <clears throat> maybe. Maybe. Okay, so that my next pitch, that, that was a TV show. I have a movie pitch. And mm-hmm. this is also sort of a, a, a have you seen uh, okay. in the news. I'm I'm just gonna read this this article, try to re- read through quickly here. The Voyager One Space Probe is the farthest human-made object in space. It launched in 1977 with a gold record on board that carried assorted sounds of our home planet, greetings in many different languages, dogs barking, and the sound of two people kissing, to name a few examples. The idea with this record was that... Kissing what? (laughs) 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 Did they really kiss? Uh, So so the idea with this record was that someday Voyager 1 might be our emissary to alien life, uh, an audible time capsule of Earth's beings. Since it launched, it also managed to complete missions to Jupiter and Saturn. In 2012, it crossed into interstellar space. But a few months ago, Uh the probe encountered Uranus. (laughs) Yes. Nailed it. Yes. (laughs) Now, go ahead, everybody. Sorry, uh, you so, were saying. So basically, some science guy is is saying uh, that the probe is having a problem. It's and they, he quote unquote, it's an elderly spacecraft, and they've been sending <laughs> messages or prompts to it, and it's sending back uh, what they said. It was like nonsensical ones and zeros. So it's like, <laughs> it's, like it's getting angry at clouds. That kind of yeah, yeah. yeah. Matt, uh, I, yeah, yeah. I don't know, but but basically now they're worried. They don't they don't know how to fix it. They don't know what went wrong. But it's okay. You know, See it's now. probably at its yeah. It's it's at its end point. So here's my movie pitch: uh, scientists relaunch Voyager maybe thirty years or so later, 
uh, instead of a golden record, it's now golden compact disc. Sure. Uh, with various things from the nineties, like Michael Jordan, Nirvana, and AOL Instant Messenger. You could probably originally the start out is just me making fun of the nineties, like, <laughs> like you know Fred Durst from Limp Bizkit is the representative. Yeah. Although uh, Nookie came out in 1999. We'll get it in though, there. Don't worry. We'll get it in yeah. there. I want uh, those aliens to know why we did it. Yeah. They but, need but to know so, why so my, we're doing it. My, my idea is a digital recording of Bill Cosby is selected as the emissary <laughs> for the mission. And uh, because of the added technology, we can now make it fly faster than uh, the original Voyager, and it leaves the solar system in only a handful of years. And finally, when you leave the solar system, I believe the actual real Voyager 1, it's going to be another 30 minutes before it gets to the Oort cloud. That's a bunch of uh, the area of like ice and stuff. Oh, and yeah. so this one is going to get... <laughs> Still like... Uh, scientific uh, scientist bachelor number three. If I said I had someone entering my Oort cloud, what would you? <laughs> one zero one zero one zero oh. one. <laughs> yeah, so that that's it. Uh, look, we know it's really funny. The idea first off that there's an elderly spacecraft, but there could also yes. be a teenage spacecraft and had acts the same way which is like he's not talking back he went behind a cloud and won't come out he won't talk to us like, well he's going through some stuff you know yeah i don't know it just seems like i mean he'll get out of it and, and then the old one's like going i'm cold i know you're cold you're <laughs> five fifty to 500 million miles from earth or any sun i don't know stop sending me messages mm -hmm. yeah or keep sending me messages. why don't you call anymore why don't you send me messages just I just want to talk. Up. You don't have to have anything. You don't have to have a reason to call me. <laughs> I'll keep sending you pictures. Mm -hmm. like, Thanks, okay. Grandma yeah. Spaceship. Yeah. Thanks, Grandma Spaceship. <laughs> it's a car from Grandma on, Spaceship. Voyager. It's five space bucks. Mm. Mm. <laughs> nice. We great. need to talk to Voyager 15 years old. Mm. Yeah. It costs a lot Whatever, more. man. Whatever, man. I don't care about your mission or whatever. I'm just going to go and just hang out with my friends. To travel in a straight line forever, whatever. I will go by Uranus. <laughs> don't, I don't show you. Don't, say, don't you dare. Do, give me the keys, young man. No. Yeah. You are not gonna, going by Uranus. I'm going to be all anus over that anus. Uranus. Yeah. I'm going to put it inside me. As long as you're living inside this universe, you're going to follow our rules. The rules of space, time, physics, and a curfew. I want you back here. By Owen. No way, man. I'm going to go. I think when I learned about the, I don't know, third grade, fourth grade, learn about the planets, mm -hmm. Uranus has never not been funny for that mm -hmm. entire time. I, I overheard someone in a at a park doing like a, a, a astronomy thing, and he called it Uranus. I was like, <laughs> bullshit, no. I was like, come on, no. Say that's it. Not, that's, Say that's it. Like a, that's like, like, this place called Uranus. <laughs> it's not going to take, brother. It's not going to work. The kids are like, you're right. I've I've heard people try and pull the the Uranus like, mm -hmm. yeah, yeah, Uranus. It's almost yeah. worse. It's almost worse somehow. Just Uranus. Mm -hmm. it. Yeah. Well, it's like changing the name when they put Breakfast Club on ABC, mm -hmm. on broadcast mm -hmm. television. Kiss my Uranus. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, Your name deleted. Also, something else that popped into my head when you're talking about the Prime Directive. There could be a Star Trek themed detective show called Prime Detective. <laughs> That's all he does. He follows, <laughs> goes through Starfleet and solves crimes. I've got to follow the prime directive detective. What What am I again? Huh? Right, the prime right, detective. Right. Oh, sorry. Right, right. So I disguise like, myself and go on planets that haven't advanced through technology yet and help them solve their crimes. Hmm. Aren't they curious on how you solve the crimes? Very, very curious. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yes. DNA? Can't get involved. Yeah. Fingerprints? <laughs> yeah. Maybe we should just let those horrible things happen on those planets, not solve those crimes. Yeah. Why don't you just steer wow. clear, guys? Yeah. Uh. Prime detective, you're really having like a moral quandary there. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I just, mm -hmm. just don't know. Mm -hmm. I don't know what to do anymore. Do I solve these crimes or hang out with these green ladies? <laughs> <laughs> Give me a double bartender. Yeah. <laughs> green lady number three. Uh, if I was a detective and you came into my office, 
How would you search for the clues? <laughs> We're back. Space H. <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Dating game. That was the dating game, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. It's like dating game, but in space. Oh, this is fun. <laughs> like, that's what it's called. The dating game, but in space. But what do we just call dating game in space? No, the, it's the dating game, but in no, space. It, it's more confusing if we don't say the but. I don't think it's true. I don't think that's at all. <laughs> <clears throat> if we wanted to go take space. an orbit around Uranus, who would we take? Stop. Ba, 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 commercial. <laughs> commercial. <laughs> <laughs> it's not even a joke anymore. It's not even. You're not even like. A, it's like a no double entendre. It just goes. If I were to. No. 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 <laughs> yeah. Yeah. They don't always get. Don't always get jokes in in space. The double entendre mm-hmm. doesn't, doesn't always mm-hmm. land. Yeah. It's like we sent a couple of comments. We sent a, some of the albums we sent with them were the Smothers Brothers. It's like, what the fuck? <laughs> it's also dated. It's like, how, and I like well, the idea the technology is that the they're going to be able to. <laughs> Who's <laughs> Tricky Dick? <laughs> Bachelor number two. <laughs> <laughs> Stop it's playing so the outro like... music. God damn it. We haven't got to get one question out. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah. Would like you say that, you that? have a Tricky Dick? Gross, no. Three days and four nights in Puerto Vallarta. If you can. (laughs) (laughs) Sequel without equal. All right. I've I've prepared another sequel without equal. Nice. Oh. If you're ready to dive in here. Now, for people who are new. Yes. So I have. So in, in the spirit of 80s movies, I guess 90s movies, that mm. they would just make sequel after sequel after sequel. They're still doing it, but I feel like mm. in the old days, they would make a first movie, not necessarily intending to have a sequel. So I came up with a movie idea. There's some there's some blanks in here that we'll fill out, and then we're going to see how many sequels we can squeeze out of it. Mm. So this is this is an original idea. Mm. Again, uh, what was our... our G- Available our email, for sale. Uh, um, um, oh, Max. M- monkey ready to do at gmail.com, <laughs> which we need to get that email address. Monkey no, ready. It's so okay. Contact that, get us. That, get that domain. Smart up. <clears throat> yes, yes. Contact us at monkey ready to do. And this could, this could be yours. This could be yours. Here we go. All right. The place, Union City, Wyoming Territory. The date, 1873. It's Uh-oh. the height of the Old West. Oh. Uh oh. After a shootout with outlaws. Uh, her her uh, kills her father. Vicky Powell inherits the family saloon. With a combination of wit and cunning, she runs the business well, uh, wrangling drunken cowboys and avoiding the advances of dubious suitors. All this changes when Colonel Cyrus Thibodeau, a former Confederate officer, moves to town <laughs> and opens another saloon. Vicky is concerned about a rival about a rival business, but finds the colonel charming and passive, with no interest in stealing her customers. In fact, it seems the colonel brought his own customers with him. Something fishy is going on, and the saloon feels like a front, but for what? Vicky suspects the colonel moved to Union City for reasons other than the weather. Mm. <laughs> so, I had a, a few questions. One is, what, what are the names of these saloons? What should the name of of the of Vicky Powers Saloon B Stinky Gulch St- Stinky Gulch love it okay yep okay <laughs> and do we have a name for for Colonel Colonel Thibodeau's uh, <laughs> bar Stinky Armadillo <laughs> so we have everything a, I like smiling oh. weasel <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, the skunky gulch and the stinky armadillo. Well, okay. I, I'm I'm right now. Okay, I I found it. Uh, your description sounds a little like a Reba McIntyre show. That's really kinda, a, an NBC sitcom. <laughs> uh, we're, we're get, I, I'm, I'm just gonna read the first two paragraphs. Uh, McIntyre plays Bobby, who inherits her father's restaurant, and is less than thrilled to discover that she has a new business partner and her half sister all right that's, that's okay it. well okay. It's, just, right. mm, it's mm. not it, it's different but mm. i don't know mm. all right we need a, we need a name for the movie is it too long to say this town ain't big enough for the both of us that might be this a little t- long a little long okay but just this town dot 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 now what do we think why do we think the colonel moved to to this town to 
what does it what, what does he know is it is it uh where, where is it again where's the, the territory wyoming, wyoming, wyoming territory wyoming. there's gold in them thar hills it's got yeah, certainly certainly gold possibly mm-hmm. oil mm-hmm. do we do we want it yeah. do we want to roll some dice do we want to go bigger do we want to go mm-hmm. you know something more exciting than gold you know funny. it's the lost city of atlantis okay Isn't that too big <laughs> what's between gold and Los gold Atlantis? Atlantis? What's between gold and Atlantis? That's the title of the movie. What's, what's between? It's like it a, could be a, a discovery of dinosaur bones. Mm-hmm. Okay, they don't know what it is yet. I don't remember exactly the date of discovery of dinosaur bones, or something like not just El Dorado. That might yes, be the, the city of gold. Oh, yes, there the we city are. of gold. Mm-hmm. Uh, mm-hmm. That you know, and maybe this you know. This colonel wants to resurrect the Confederacy or something. Mm-hmm. With that, the, the first dinosaur was found in 1824. Perfect. Okay. I think How about the, the, ti- the title, the town next to the city of gold. <laughs> That's too much, guys. Oh, okay. Yeah, this town and the city of gold. <laughs> and Stinky both- gulch of gold <laughs> in close proximity. <laughs> the town in close proximity to the city of gold adjacent to the city of gold where is this close yeah. by close by close by S- yeah. smell dorado <laughs> <laughs> uh all right so they the, the movie does moderately well and they decide mm-hmm. to make a sequel mm-hmm. uh this is what i have for the sequel after Ooh. vicky discovers blank perhaps something at the end of the first movie, Mm -hmm. uh, she decides to assemble a team of heroes to finally end the Colonel's plan. My, my only idea, and it's based off the Reba (laughs) is that she's somehow related to the Colonel. Mm -hmm. And so he has some stake in the inheritance. Uncle (laughs) Thibodeau. Okay. Okay. Using, uh, sort of primitive means of DNA detection, they realize through the town doctor. I got some news for you. Y'all's related. What the hell? Your yeah. blood is red and your blood is red. Well, that, that's, <laughs> well, that settles it. Welcome <laughs> to the family. Hey, I, I've tasted both bloods. Y'all are related. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm only down for a while. I don't feel so hot. <laughs> <laughs> I'll be heading into the next big city to the hospital. Uh, I'm gonna go. I'm gonna bleed myself a little bit. Do that a little bit of uh, help, yeah. uh, a little lightheaded. I gotta be daddy. I gotta be my daddy or uncle or you know what I'm saying what, whatever mm. it is. Yeah. Okay. <clears throat> well, they, her father was killed, so maybe Thibodeau is her mm. uncle. You know. I don't know. A little maybe. Hamlet a- action going little, here. Yeah, Shakespearean. A- yeah. Like, mm-hmm. It's like I don't yeah. care about the city of gold. I care about revenge. Ooh, right. huh? It's like, oh, lady, tough lady talk. <laughs> That's awful tough talk, my lady. This town of I'm revenge. So full of blood. This town, dot dot dot, of revenge, dot dot, just down the road from the city of gold. <laughs> <laughs> That's always, regardless. Of what. <laughs> so maybe the title: This town, dot dot dot, revenge. Yes. Okay. All right. A, t- a town called Revenge. That's a pretty good title. Ooh, okay. Yeah. Okay. All right. Actually, yeah. Okay. <laughs> a town called Revenge. All right. All right. And, and, and we could... like, I don't want to really go into the town. Like, it's <laughs> and I go yeah. forward, like, we're going into the town of Revenge. Uh, no. <laughs> no, I'm going to keep on going. And we could use like an old Englishy spelling of town, like T O W N E. So that way, when you use it in the title, you're like, oh, yeah, it's that movie again. They're doing a <laughs> sequel. Like, I recognize that that spelling of town. Kind of irritated by it, but you're still going to see it. <laughs> ah, goddamn! All right, uh, they keep uh, like the idea of the you know entering the town called Revenge. It's like watch your step. Don't <laughs> piss anybody <laughs> off. I'm- People have a hair trigger, to say the least, about what's going on there. <laughs> oh, pardon me. That ain't going to cut it. Oh, for God's sake. I just wanted to go to the thing. <laughs> Everything has an E on it. Shop, S-H-O-P-P-E. In mm-hmm, the mm-hmm. town, T-O-N-E. Doctor, D-O-C-T-O-R-E. What? Doctor. <laughs> doctor. No, it's just <laughs> doctor. The E is silent. What are you talking about? <laughs> like the E in town. There's an ant. Oh. oh, come uh, on. Oh, I hate this movie. Uh, I hate this movie. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and, and this town. Yeah. 
Yeah, yeah. A town a town called Annoying. That's what it is. <laughs> the subtitles are hell. Uh, yeah, like Annoying Wyoming or wherever it is. Like, <laughs> <laughs> oh, I hate living here so much. <sighs> All right, so uh, uh, that movie does fairly well. A town called Revenge okay. does well enough to make a third movie. Uh, all I have for this one is Vicky and her crew must trek to San Francisco. Mm. Where they arrive just in time for the earthquake. Wow. San Francisco quake. Wow. The real earthquake or the earthquake that is someone's, I don't know. No, it, yeah, could okay. be, it, could be, it could be a metaphorical earthquake. Mm. And then mm. the literal <laughs> one occurs at the end of the movie. Yeah, yeah. Right. Now, that's probably 25 to 30 years after this other movie. So we would probably need to, I don't know what that quote <laughs> Could was. it be, could it be they find that uh, the El Dorado that they discovered was really just a map and it's a map to a place in San Francisco. And Called then the, in that. The real El Dorado. Mm-hmm. What? <laughs> da, 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 <laughs> the nice. golden, the golden gate bridge, actually golden. Like, wait yeah. a minute. <laughs> this is in plain this, sight. This, this, this soft, paint. pliable, but heavy. You stupid Metal. cowboys. There's no Golden Gate Bridge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So you... a- and so when there's an earthquake, it swallows up the, the city, mm. the real true city of El Dorado. Mm. And that's why um, no one believes it being okay. real. Okay. Mm. Okay. We have a title for this movie here. Mm-hmm. It's like <clears throat> a town called San Francisco, several thousand miles from a town called Revenge, just outside of the city of Gold. And, and it's San, S-A-N-E, with <laughs> San Francisco, with, with an, an E at the end of it. <laughs> San Francisco. <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah, I don't, yeah. I don't get it. And she run afoul, runs afoul of some tong. Uh, you know, oh. the Chinese mafia as yeah, well, yeah. who also want the, everyone wants the gold. So it gets to be a real <laughs> slobber knocker. <laughs> So it it turns into like kind of like a martial arts flick, mm-hmm. <laughs> like that. Little, yeah, just... big trouble in Little China kind of thing, where it's like, yeah. ah, I am out of my element here. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh, I, I think well, maybe study. these. I think this this Chinese mafia there, they've already found the city of gold, the real El Dorado, and they're mm-hmm. like, you know, they're gonna pervert it for their own good. Mm-hmm. You can't trust the. Mm-hmm. Yes. Chinese mafia in this movie. In this movie. In oh, this movie. Okay. <laughs> be very, very clear. Like, Just to be very clear. A long time ago, historically, right now, you sure can trust them. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Well, just for, it's on a, on a personal basis. Mm-hmm. I bet there is a really dishonest right. Chinese person out there. Just horribly dishonest. Um, but I'm not going to make a blanket statement about. Did we ever get a name be... for this trek across? And we didn't talk much about the trek. You just kind of. Well, ah, uh, boy, what an arduous journey across the Rockies. We're here. <laughs> you think a train, or would they be? Uh, would they be uh, like uh, stagecoach, sort of Oregon trailing it? Mm-hmm. You know, and she's got her crew with her. She's got Big Deb with her, mm-hmm. making a cross, making yeah. a way across. The- she's got a big. She's got a two by four that she's like smacks in her hand over and over again. Yeah, yeah. You go to sleep for a while. I'll take watch. Jesus, Deb, you sleep? <laughs> nah, sleeps for wimps. Jesus, Deb, it's incredible. Right. Why are you so sour? I never sleep. Mm. I'm just tired. <laughs> I'm so damn tired. <laughs> Grumpy. Uh, well, the uh, actor who portrayed the movie is ready to get off this roller coaster. Mm. Uh, so the fourth movie begins like this. Uh, Vicky, in a 30-second montage, falls in love, marries, has children, uh, and then her improbably amazing husband is killed in a freak accident. Mm. Mm. Or was he? Sequel, they, they get rid of her. Uh, and her husband mysteriously dies, so she has Vicky Jr. now inherits that same saloon, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. and she and is back. named Vicky Jr. <laughs> <laughs> you know, my daddy always wanted a boy, so they call me Vicky Jr. <clears throat> okay, can I have my drink now? Oh, yeah. sorry, I'm not finished with my I've got a little thumbnail. <laughs> <laughs> I've got more tales to weave. <laughs> you know, my mommy, she went all the way to San Francisco and back in the course of a week with tales of a city of gold. Mm-hmm. Oh, wow. They should make a motion picture about that. Of Nickelodeon. <laughs> <laughs> mm-hmm. Yeah. Maybe that's what the movie is about. I got to get this this movie, this biopic this bi- of my mother produced. <laughs> that's her, but that's who's like a, gonna play her? Oh, yeah. 
<laughs> what's the real city of gold hollywood that's what it turns out it's like yeah, that's why yeah. they make oscars out of gold those oscars are melted down golden gate bridges is <laughs> everything here looks so real mm -hmm. the plants the trees this road it is real what this town called hollywood uh <laughs> really takes a turn for the series uh, as Vicky Jr. tries to get her mother's uh, biography produced. Okay. Yeah. All right. Mm -hmm. Really changing the tone here. It's probably in the 1920s or 30s, you mm -hmm. know? Okay. Mm -hmm. And she runs into real people like Charlie Chaplin and Clara Bow, mm -hmm. and it becomes <laughs> one of those sort of things. It's like a young Alfred Hitchcock. I'll never think of anything suspenseful. Well, I've got an idea. Oh, the shower's not working. <laughs> Wait a minute. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, all, all these great ideas. She <laughs> You should be heading this Just, way, north by northwest. Oh, no, 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 no. Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, all these birds that are shooting on my car. Yes, yes. Mm, <laughs> shooting on your car. <laughs> no, 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 wait. Come back. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This movie's horrible. It's the worst I've ever seen. It's like Henry Ford. Like, I hate this movie so much. <laughs> <laughs> yes. It's a real yeah, it's a real like a cautionary tale about cars. I don't I don't think that's what he meant yeah. about that. I don't think it was it. So she changes history yeah, a little bit. It's, <laughs> it's not like always a butterfly, a town where the butterfly flaps its wings. It's like Alfred Hitchcock goes into advertising instead. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. The greatest advertiser yeah. of all time. God, he was so good. Yeah. Just the whole thing about a commercial for soap. This lady showering and the shower uh -huh. curtain gets thrown open. Try Prell shampoo. Ah, oh, uh, Jesus Christ. <laughs> Scared the bags uh, out of me. Oh, my God. Sorry, honey. I just couldn't get it. Sounds yeah. great. No, just, Madge, you're soaking in it. You know, it's kind of like. It's blood. Uh, <laughs> blood. <laughs> yeah. Ah. And palm olive. Oh. Oh. Nice. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> dip, dip, dip. <laughs> the figures dipping into the. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Yeah, the, the, that composer, uh, he's Bernard. He Herman. does tons of jingles. Yeah, yeah Bernard. Herman. Yeah. yeah, famous for his commercial jingles. God damn you, Vicky Junior! You really ruined it for the rest of us. <laughs> but, but Vicky Junior does deal with a, a bad producer who's no good, whose last name happens to be Thibodeau. Mm -hmm. Ooh. And then okay. a young Walt Disney steps in. <laughs> you stay away from her. I'm a shooter of this mouse. Hmm. He's like, <laughs> you may, again, just missing the point. Becomes <laughs> tripping animals are funny. It was the mouse that, God damn it. Vicky <laughs> Jr. <laughs> series of Academy Award really tripping, <laughs> tripping over things. Yeah, 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 yeah. Good old clumsy Willie. Yeah. About the <laughs> mouse. <laughs> <laughs> what the, the mouse who couldn't walk straight wow this park no. sucks <laughs> oh these rides are all awful Ugh, it's so weird mm. all right i have nothing for the fifth movie a gritty reboot Grit, a gritty reboot and mm. they're just like look oh, i yeah. know it's the old west we need to get some more people of color out here in the old west mm. make a, a huge sociological or soci you know yeah. just a big statement it's a statement movie yeah, we're gonna yeah, win yeah, some yeah. awards in a full circle moment, they received the Oscar for the fifth movie in the series, wow. a town called yeah. Dreams Come True. <laughs> <laughs> that's her. That's her Native American friend, and they call me Dreams Come True. What? <laughs> Why is that? No, no e at the end. <laughs> of wow. come a true, which is a lot of e's in there. I don't know. Where Thibodeau is not the bad guy, society is. Mm -hmm. yeah. Think about it. And everyone in the town is either like young and beautiful or old. Mm -hmm. There's just no middle aged people because mm -hmm. they don't they don't test well. They don't the, the audiences don't like them. They don't mm -hmm. audiences don't mm -hmm. like regular fly. People. They're like the flyover states. They don't care. It's yeah, all coast, yeah. coastal. Yeah, yeah. <clears throat> a lot of pool parties in mm -hmm. the this Wyoming mm -hmm. town. that they go to. Maybe it's one of those. Or, what was that movie? Was it First Night, where they had like nights, but they also had like David Bowie music. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's right. <clears throat> oh, yeah. wow. I... Nice. So they have parties in this town, and it's like, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Bumping house music. All shirtless. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Someone's got one of those uh, wax cylinders, and they're kind of you know, tweaking it like a <laughs> scratching a wax cylinder. <laughs> and the, rrr, dog rrr, is, rrr. the dog is like, like the dog starts dancing. It's like, <laughs> the, 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 like, wow, it's got something for everybody. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 
Mm. Oh yeah, but Mary had a had, had a little, little, little <laughs> lamb, 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 lamb. <laughs> Come in here, Watson. I need you. <laughs> 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 on his hind legs doing that dance, like wow, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. wow. Do anything. <clears throat> This gives me a great idea for a movie. <laughs> Adventures of the Record Player. No, god damn it. You guys are missing the point over and over again. Come back here, D.W. Griffiths. <laughs> I won't tolerate any of this. Wait a minute. <laughs> that gives me an idea. <laughs> yeah, he's the villain in the movie. It's no longer yes. Colonel Thibodeau. It's D.W. Griffiths. D.W. Griffin. I'm going to change it a little bit. So Yeah, don't yeah. get sued by his... Uh, Estate. Estate. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I'm going to be famous. I'm going to invent this thing called movies, and then I'm going to make racist movies once I do. Really? I'm going to get my horrible message out there, but how? How? Movies. What? It's a long way to go uh, yeah. for that. You know? Under this town, I discovered a, a yeah, <laughs> deposits of uh, Silver oxide, which can be <laughs> used as an as an emulsion layer on a. And you're going to help me, Orson Welles? No, I'm not. <laughs> <laughs> He's super dumb in the movie. <laughs> oh, I don't know, Mister Griffin. <laughs> but then he gets I got hit. to the stuff, the silver oxide, that turns him like a superhero into like mm. going. I've got some ideas for a movie. You know? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Wow. And he's Slowly. in love with a girl named Rosebud. Yeah. <laughs> Who this rejects gives me an idea. Yeah, we he married to... a sled. Yep. <laughs> you rose. We gotta, we gotta take, a th- gotta take that away from him immediately. <laughs> In this new column of savage love. It's like I was wondering, you know. <laughs> may, I, may I, may I show you how I sled? <laughs> if I said you wanted to go to a mountain and do some sledding, bachelorette number two, what would you say? <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. Bachelor number three. I'm a snow globe. You're a raging fire (laughs) in a furnace. All right. We see. Yeah. A town called uh, Dream. A town called Dreams Come True. All right. We did it. We did it, everybody. All right. Fantastic. It's available for purchase. Yep. Yes. (laughs) <laughs> monkey ready to do at gmail at gmail.com. <laughs> <clears throat> monkey ready to do dot tv on the website <laughs> <laughs> give us a couple of seconds here as we get that set yeah, up. buying yeah, domain you. and oh someone already got the domain okay hold on <laughs> <laughs> it's like monkey ready to do dot org oh wow we're a non-profit Oh, that's it. Oh, no, it. No, 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 slow down, slow down. No, we we want to make money. No, no, no. I'm just saying. Yeah, yeah. You started right. a nonprofit. You listed yourself as the president, vice president, secretary, treasurer, uh, janitor. Uh, each <laughs> role pulling a six figure salary. That's correct. Yes. <laughs> that's correct. Sure. That is correct. Oh, too malice. Too malice. <laughs> 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 <laughs>